You warm? No. Yes, I'm warm. <laughs> I am warm. It how feels a little cold. How cold out was it? It's 28 right now. Yeah. It's cold. And then add this wind on top of it. Oh, yeah. Good morning, uh, day eight, day nine, day nine. Um, and here comes Tracy, it's cold. <laughs> we slept, uh, there was another guy in the shelter last night named Ben from Mississippi. Uh, he had a thermometer there, it was 28 degrees. It's 28 degrees right now. And that doesn't even include the wind chill. It probably got down to 23 last night while we were sleeping. Yeah, yeah, we were warm in the sleeping bags, but my god getting out of them this morning was a was a chore so we got a beautiful sunrise this morning beautiful view so we're gonna see how far we can get today see what's going on with the mileage and everything um our next stop is deep deep gap shelter about 7.7 .7 miles from here um, we got one more mountain to climb i can't remember the name of it but i'm sure when we get there i'll tell you so how are you feeling this morning? I'm feeling good. I slept amazing for it being so cold. So ready to get walking though. It's cold yeah, standing. Yeah, so we're gonna get on down the trail and get warmed up. We'll see you guys later. We're at the base of Kelly Knob, about 800 foot climb over a mile. It's pretty steep. Um, I see it in the background there. Just up over the other side of this is the shelter 1.6 miles away. It's 11.30 in the morning. That means we're gonna get to the shelter by one o'clock. We're trying to get a shuttle uh, out of Dix Creek Gap. We can get there by three o'clock and be done. Um, we're trying to do that because it is cold. It's not warm enough. In fact, it's getting colder with the wind. The wind is just getting insane here. We're completely exposed. Can't get warm. So we're gonna see if we can get some cell reception up here at the top of Kelly's Knob. We'll see you up the top. Made it up over Kelly Knob, the hardest mountain we climbed. Blue Mountain, Blood Mountain, Sassafras Mountain, Rocky Mountain, Trey Mountain, nothing. Nothing compared to Kelly Knob. That was straight up. There's no switchbacks, nothing. My calves were killing me. We think we have a line on a shuttle at Dick's Creek Gap, and I think that's where we're gonna call it and 
a trip uh, just because to get to the border and back it's very very difficult and uh, there's supposed to be the way we thought we were going to get out is very difficult to get a car up there so I think we're going to be stopping at Dick's Creek Gap and then pick it up on our next trip on our next section hike so we're waiting for Tracy to get a text back from the shuttle driver and see what's happening so we'll see you guys on down the bottom here back home so that's our drive here it is it's like 28 degrees and then this wind we're in Georgia I thought you guys had nice weather down here this is what we have in Ohio all right so not doing much filming because we're just moving down the path and trying to get to the gap quick plus it's so damn cold out we'll see you guys on down the trail Got a little under half mile left till we get to Dick's Creek Gap. Oh, our shuttle's picking us up. Um, this is about the end of the Georgia hike for now. We'll pick it back up probably uh, in 2020. We still want to clear up that gap between Atkins and Parisburg um, sometime also. But uh, it's, it's been rough. Georgia is no joke. <laughs> um, I see why people quit at Neil's Gap if they've never hiked before. It is climbing and climbing and climbing and climbing. But my God, the views that you get are so worth it. So worth it. Just remembering coming up Blood Mountain, Rocky Mountain, Trey Mountain, and Kelly Knob. They were tough climbs, but they were worth it at the top. Um, uh, we've learned a lot about our gear. I'm more with this hike than the other two section hikes. So that's nice. It's a lot of stuff we sent home that we carried before that just don't need, um, we don't use. So we're trying, we're starting to figure out what our fears are and working through them and not taking it with us. <laughs> Pack's getting lighter, so. Alrighty, well enough rambling. I'm gonna get on down this mountain here. We're gonna get to the parking lot here and get off this trail. We'll see you guys in a little bit. Alrighty guys, here we are at Diggs Creek Gap. 75 miles over nine days. How far from the border are we? 12 miles. 12 miles, this is the easiest way to get in and out off the trail. So we're gonna call it quits here and finish up the other 12 miles in another section hike when we go through North Carolina and get up into the Smokies. Uh, it's a good day of hiking today. Some uh, some steep, yeah. steep incline. Yeah, Kelly Knob was probably the hardest one of them uh. all. But uh, yeah, Georgia, you lived up to your name. The mountains here are insane. So many ups and downs and not very many um, straightaways. You go up a mountain, come down a mountain, and then right away, turn right back, another angle, straight up and down, but beautiful sight. So that's all we have for now. Uh, hopefully we'll see you guys back on the trail in the near future. Thank you for coming along. Have a good day.